Focusing in on some of the tough competitors in the top fuel Harley category. Here is second year racer after a great rookie season, Mr. Bo Lane. How you doing, Bo? Doing good. Bo, it, it was just an awesome first year for you. Number six in the points, right? Yes, sir. That's an incredible accomplishment with how tough the competition is out here. How'd you do it last year? Um, consistency, just stayed with it, worked at it, worked hard. Jack was behind the whole scene. Jack Romine, right? Yeah, kept, uh, kept the team together and kept the bike running. Thought it was a great story. We just put it out on cyclodrag.com, how you got hooked up with Jack Romine. For those that don't know, how did you get hooked up with such a legendary tuner? Uh, me and Mike were working uh, out the details of me getting this frame and we talked about him tuning for me. Uh, then he got that Vance and Hines deal, so he wasn't able to, and uh, recommended Jack. And Jack worked out the details. And in the article, you call Jack your angel. So what, what's it been like having somebody with that much experience helping you to look at the computer and make the tuning calls? Uh, he's the greatest. He's a uh, work ethic like no other. Um, smart, retains a lot of information, and uh, always willing to help. If you could describe it, what's it like to ride one of these beasts? A word that's continually thrown around is violent. I don't think there's any words to really describe it. I haven't been able to find one yet. That's, uh, I mean, when everything settles down at the end of the track, then that's when you realize you had fun, but until then you're too busy concentrating on keeping it going straight. Coming off a career best in preseason testing, a 638, right? 638 career best. How did that make you feel starting the season with such a great number? That was good. Uh, we were hoping to get some more testing in. Whether what didn't really cooperate with us, and uh, either uh, it's we just need a little, little more seat time this season um, to get where we want to be. We're right there, though. We got some numbers we can work with. We're proud of. Which, where's your hometown? Redding, California. And how old are you? Forty-three. Forty-three. One of the young men in this category, right? So, what is the goal this season? After a number six finish last year, how do you top it this year? You know what? We're gonna take it race by race. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all 10, but we're gonna try. Uh, we're definitely doing Pomona, Phoenix. We're here now, of course, doing Pomona. But uh, do Phoenix and see what happens from there. Now, when you talk about that uncertainty and we're gonna take it one race at a time, I'm sure you're talking about we're looking for financial partners and sponsors, right? Always, always, yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to you know, take two weeks off to, to go to a race, you know, across the country, lose the income, and then, you know, spend the money you do make put them back into support it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense a lot of the time but we can do it. What's more difficult in your opinion? Riding this motorcycle, that side of it, or the marketing side trying to find sponsors? Marketing side. It's it's the whole thing's a lot of work. It's not what you know it's it's a full time job. It's uh, definitely a full time job. You know, we've got a pretty big off season so there's time to you know, focus back on the work and the house and stuff. But during race season it's a lot of hours you spend. Well, Bo has done a great job, guys. We'll show you his motorcycle one more time. If you know anybody out there who might want to get their name on a championship contending Nitro Harley, make sure you get a hold of young Bo Lane here because in year number two, Bo Lane, with the right backing, could be up there in the top, uh, dare I say, one or two in the point series. He's got a proven motorcycle and a proven crew chief and has done a great job, that's for sure. Bo, anything you would like to add? Nope. Well, we wish you the best of luck this year. Ride safe and hope you find the sponsors you need. Thanks, Jack. Thanks a lot.